Good morning, everybody. Stetson with Stetson Long Care here. It is a beautiful Friday morning. We got Carlos. We got Jackson back there somewhere pulling weeds out. And we got a whole nother trailer load of mulch because we're going to be doing mulch at this house. So we are here on Tuesday and we pulled weeds and we tried, we pruned down that pompous grass, but it was really, really windy. So stuff was blowing all over the road and all down the road. So we went ahead and came back today to finish the rest of the trimming, which is a couple of these bushes. There's like little things we need, need touched up. Prune, pruning, then pulling weeds back here. Jackson, how you doing today? <clears throat> Fine. Fine? Yeah. A little cold out today, isn't it? A little yeah. chilly. It is a little chilly. We got a little cold front. Like Tuesday it was 80. Right now it's like 40. So now we're in the backyard, guys, and we're gonna mulch around those trees right there. And we got some more landscaping right here and over there. We're gonna do a little bit of trimming and there's a bunch of weeds to, to get out. <clears throat> but other than that, guys, it's gonna be a pretty simple day. We just have this one and then we're gonna be pruning some uh, pompous grass that we didn't do the other day because our hedge trimmers went down at another house and then we're gonna be done. So it's really easy Friday. Great start to the weekend, I guess you could say. The guys are over here getting started. So I guess I'd better do the same. You know what's funny, guys? I was just at my cousin's shop getting the mulch. That's his guys right there. They're doing the, they did the landscaping at the house. So they're doing, a, I guess, this little spring cleanup over there. I mow that yard and we're going to be scalping it pretty soon. But that's funny that I just saw them at the shop and now they're right there. So anyway, <laughs> uh, we're going to get started. I will probably start recording whenever we get some interesting stuff like mulching. Who knows? But either way, we'll see you in a little bit. Okay, so we're in the backyard. Really nice pool here too. But I'm currently pruning the crepe myrtles over here. So I got this one and then these three. We're gonna prune them all about down to the same height. So let's go ahead and get these two done. I'm pleased to announce that the next portion of this video is sponsored by the Plot Carta. Guys, are you tired of regular old measuring wheels and having to do all the calculation on pen and paper? Well, say goodbye to wasting paper and say hello to Carta. Carta is a digital measuring wheel used by professionals and DIYers alike to virtually map any outdoor space in real time. So users can easily map paths to calculate distance, perimeter, and area measurements. We're gonna dive right into this, guys. As I said, this is the Plot Carta, the first mapping and measuring wheel, which is digital, virtual mapping, guys. So that means it's fully functional and controlled from your smartphone, which is probably the coolest thing that I have ever seen. Um, but without further ado, let's just dive right into this, guys. All right, can throw that box aside right there. So 
if you guys see, here is what it comes, what comes in the box. It's just the wheel itself. Of course, it comes with some batteries, which is awesome, so you don't have to worry about that. And then underneath the wheel is a handle, which puts it all together and which has a little clip for your smartphone. So let's take this out of the box real quick. All right, so, so all you do is just put this piece right there, make, make sure it clicks, twist this on, and there you go. You are pretty much good to go from there. Cool thing about this is your phone lines up directly down the middle of it. So it's gonna be a very accurate reading. And also this handle is adjustable. So it goes up and down, I'm at the highest because I'm pretty tall, I'm 6'2". So, uh, but anyway, so I'm gonna turn screen record on. And let's get to measuring guys. So what I wanna do is I wanna put a whole flower bed basically from here to the gate just to kind of make it look a little better and because we're going to be getting a storm shelter pretty soon in this area so just to, i'm going to be putting some landscaping there so we're going to go and measure out um, a because i'm going to use blue baron stone so i'm going to need to find out how much i need for the perimeter and then b i need the area for how much mulch i'm going to need so let's go ahead and go over here so we'll go ahead and start at the fence so start i want it to come out about Eh, about two feet, two, three feet, so that's perfect. We're gonna take a sharp turn and take it straight up this hill. Another sharp turn, come to the fence, sharp turn, and then take it all the way down the fence line. And you'll hear as I get close to the end, it's gonna start beeping. You may or may not hear it on camera, I'm not sure but I can hear it. The unit itself is beeping. So there it is right there. And I'm a little farther from where I started. Uh, I'm a little farther back, so that's all right. Is it as easy as that? There is no paperwork, no nothing. Um, I'm gonna show you the coolest part about this. If you hit measurement right here, hit the little arrow or the, hit the little three lines, gives you more info. Look at that guys, it, show, it gives you the perimeter and the area. So my perimeter was 90, basically 91 feet. So I'm gonna need about 91 feet of blue baron stone and it's a six inch chop. So you can kind of just do the math from that. And then also guys, the area gives you, which is uh, basically 140 square feet. So that's good to know because I'll be using the mulch. So just I'll have to kind of do some math onto how much mulch I need. If you see, I mean, that's pretty neat. That's just one of the very, very endless functions of this app. There are so many other things you can do here. But if you guys do want to pick yourselves up one of these bad boys, the Carta manufactured by Plot, you can do so at www.buyletsplot.com. So I'll put that below me in text and I'll also put that down in the comment section. I'll pin it and I'll also put it in the bio of this video and everything else. So you guys can do it. And just so you know, they are running a sale through March 28th. So it's gonna be awesome, guys. You can get one of these bad boys on sale and it'll, I'm tell, telling you right now, guys, it will be worth your money. It is worth its weight in gold because this is gonna make my life so much easier as I've already used it on a couple of real jobs and big time saver because you're not having to use, you know, a whole bunch of different apps and whatever for calculating. You know, everything is all in one, one user app. So I really recommend this. I have no complaints on it. This is a very well-made product and the app is very well thought out. So highly recommend this guys. But without further ado, let's get back into the video. So we got all the correct myrtles pruned and mulched around these flower beds. Need to bring the blower to blow off the rocks. Other than that, looks good. These are red rocket crepe myrtles and they're pruned up ready for spring. So next we got to trim a couple hedges over there. Uh, the guys from Jackson and Carlos are mulching the front right now. So they should be almost done out there and then I'll record us mulching back here and uh, cutting some stuff. Maybe I'll go to the front, who knows? So we'll see you then. So guys, we got Jackson finished the front flower beds. He is currently mulching the trees. Carlos and I finally, Carlos is taking a nap, I guess. We finally finished, guys, these flower beds had so many weeds in them. Here, I'll come over here and show you. Uh, you can tell that they haven't been, weeds haven't been pulled in a couple years because like stuff, some of this was like sod. Like this stuff was in there like sod. We had to dig it out with a shovel, but we finally got it out. Or Carlos finally got most of this out. But anyway, Carlos is gonna start. I'm gonna clean the rest of this up. Carlos is gonna start mulching over there. We're gonna get that recorded. 
and then we're gonna mulch this one and then we're gonna call it a day. I'm gonna show you guys how to mulch. Or not call it a day, but we're gonna call it a house. And then we got one more thing to do. Carlos might not be able to go because he is leaving us tonight. He is doing his yearly trip to Mexico. So he'll be gone for two weeks. So it's just gonna be me and Jackson, maybe someone else, who knows. But he'll be gone for two weeks, guys. Can't believe he's doing it. He's leaving us again. <laughs> I'd love for you to stay, Carlos. <laughs> but anyway, he's gonna get this done, guys. Okay, everybody so finally we are done here so we got this flower bed we got everything cleaned out of it and pruned and mulched so this one looks good come over to this one we got this one same thing looks good we're using grade a cedar mulch in the back there we got all these five trees around it mulch next year i believe we're gonna be probably gonna have to remove it because the mound's getting pretty high and this is actually the first year that we've done this but he said uh next year he'll probably have us remove all the old mulch because it's been there i mean if the cedars even make it i mean they're from that really hard freeze we had uh whenever it snowed guys we got down to like negative 30 and so i don't know i'm not sure these trees are going to make it if you can see i mean they're pretty they look pretty dead so if they don't make it we have to get some new trees planted which will be expensive especially those types but let me take out of the front now so we come to the front and I think I'm gonna bring back some string and tie that together because that's that's the only one that's split up 
all the other ones are together. So I think I'm gonna bring some string back, tie that together, some like green string. But we got all this flower bed mulched. Got the, around this tree, the ring around that tree. Um, yeah guys, so it looks really good. It looks so much better. I love, it's crazy what mulch can do. How much mulch can change the way a house looks. Over here. And then all back here, so. That is everything in this house, guys. We are heading, we're gonna go to my house. We're gonna drop the rest of the mulch off because we're gonna do my house this weekend. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop it off. And then we're gonna head to the compost probably. So we'll see you guys in a little bit. So finally, we are back at the shop and it was a long day, but we ended up going to the compost, <clears throat> emptying out the trailer and I went by my dealer and I ended up picking up a brand new commercial Honda because they, I guess they only got like 20 in and they don't know if they're gonna get any more this whole year. So I told them, hold me one, I'll come pick it up this week. So that's exactly what we did. So now we got three Hondas. We got these two and this one back here. And of course we got the rights that are hibernating still. Uh, these are gonna be pulled out next week to start scalping. So I'm excited to start scalping and I know everyone else is, but anyway, guys, we are, done for the day like i said we're done for the week so hopefully you enjoyed this video it was really fun to make we did a bunch of mulch and pruning and all that stuff but i'm ready for the weekend off <laughs> so anyway guys we will catch you all next week not sure when we're they're calling for a bunch of rain so we'll figure it out but we will see you guys then so peace out